good morning. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually sleep last night. <laughs> I tried to go to sleep, but um, my dumbass decided to drink milk tea throughout the entire day instead of drinking it in one sitting. So caffeine kept me up all night, um, and I was just tossing and turning in bed and just watching the sunrise and here I am wide awake I'll probably crash later in the day uh, but first things first I, I guess I'll just wash my face and try to be presentable uh, all right now that I have um, changed my clothes and kind of woken up yeah, this week's been pretty productive, uh, aside from doing all of the drawing stuff that and sticker making that I did earlier in the week. Uh, I, I used the vinyl, single-sided vinyl laminating technique on um, three new stickers, and I have them here. I made um, some roller skating stickers, and I'm really happy about them. <laughs> Um, I realized I should do a set of three because a set of two looked kind of funny. Um, if you guys remember this uh, drawing that I did in like a vlog like a couple months ago and these two are new so I will have a set of roller girls um, on my Etsy store soon. Um, not sure if I want to just sell them as a set or sell them individually. I might end up selling them individually with a set as an option, um, just in case um, you guys just want that one. <laughs> so in other news, uh, my holographic Isabel stickers are officially sold out. Uh, thank you to everyone that bought um, a sticker from me, um, but unfortunately I will not be printing these at home anymore only because the material, this iridescent um, paper that Silhouette America only seems to carry, um, they, they've been out of stock for like the last couple of months and I don't know when they'll ever be back in stock. Um, and this material is like kind of hard to find and it's a little expensive for me and um, yeah, also, I just got frustrated on this batch um, that I printed out because my yellow actually stopped printing on my printer. So you could tell the color difference is really stark. Um, so I'll still probably cut these out and just have them, but um, also because the material is so thick, um, my silhouette actually has a hard time cutting through the material entirely um, and especially with uh, the lamination uh, the vinyl that I put on top uh, to make it waterproof uh, <laughs> it creates like an even thicker layer so it's just I end up just having to cut these out by hand um, and a couple of customers have told me that uh, the sticker itself is really delicate and um, they got a little water on it and like where it came damaged and like you know it's smudged so i mean as with most things this was my first sticker that i printed at home um and i did mention in the product description that water or like a clorox wipe will totally decimate the ink on this because i didn't seal it um it was literally just print as is and cut as is and that's partly like on me because I didn't um, go to the extra steps to make sure that it's a perfectly safe sticker to stick anywhere. So I apologize to those who have damaged stickers. Um, DM me because guess what? While I'm not going to continue printing them at home, I did actually get them um, professionally printed through a sticker company, uh, through Sticker Ninja. And um, I changed um, the holographic design on it a little bit. Um, uh, there will be a white ink layer so that the 
only certain parts of it are hollow. Um, I can't wait to see how it looks when it comes in the mail. Um, but I will actually be listing those soon, hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, thank you to everyone that bought um, my prototype version of Isabel. Um, I have these ones, like three that I laminated at home and cut out um, with the outline of the original uh, die cut. Uh, so for anyone that bought this from me and that your sticker was ruined or was damaged, um, just let me know, send me a message on my various social media platforms and I'll replace it for you for free um, just because <laughs> I'm so sorry I sent you an unsealed product. Um, but yeah, I do have a few of those um, that I can replace for you. Um, the new sticker is going to be a little bit more expensive because I did send them out to be printed and the printing cost was a little bit steep because it is a holographic material and not your average sticker. So I will post those as soon as I get them. Okay, honestly now that I was thinking and using my brain, I think I'm going to take a nap now.
love the way that these stickers came out. Um, I'm so happy with the lamination. There's no bubbles. It's really glossy. And the best part is it's waterproof. Hooray! These stickers will be exclusive to the Piero Dreams print. Now this sticker is a sneak peek for September stickers. It is a spooky clown in a kind of an autumn theme. And this was originally a thumbnail for Piero Dreams, which I turned into a sticker. So today I went to Daiso with my sister and I found these really cool like card holder um, plastic containers that I thought would be really good for organizing stickers. I love the adjustable compartments because then I can decide like how wide or thin to put my uh, sticker spaces. Um, but yeah, this is really convenient for packing orders with multiple designs. I don't know how practical it will be in the long run if I increase my inventory, but it works a hell of a lot better than just shoving them all into one box, which I had earlier. So many animals. You want those bandanas? Bandanas? Bandana? Oh, yeah, I think they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> 